Kava dumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu yin kin kun no ba mule rachi ti un pa do punta krita ak ti kondo ona chaba chiso we ti membo rang thong mule ra on shantori Mana mana tota hakuji krala bole ji chok shantang tinku ukaba topa no kin kon shi kakchin awana wa randi ichawa tongbola takum just tak miki grabul boko kat runda di hotonga kun hanka ken chopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun at bona na kachu kicha badwang Tag bis tu bongo koki bakpaka. Shagji kina lorcha watamwana kin kun shishi with him and bonang. Chanchok Bulara, Umra Chiska Duchi, On Chuban Jiska Yanki, Kipuna, Bonana Kichu, Kinpa Mulerad, Kipuna, Nabon Shah, Kava Dumpa Kupal Pudu, Tuniran. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Volkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Volkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Volkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you?
The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcar's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Vale. Mission Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race.
Worlder, anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here. Sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I... I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but this is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village... Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld.
Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rock ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. to die, abandoned by everyone. Why have you come back, Upworlder? Do you... Ah! <laughs> 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 Back again? Is there something else you... You... you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy, the beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Old, yes, but not insane. Oh, no, not insane at all. I am as rational as any man can be after a hundred years in the filth and darkness of the Undercity. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinklesken, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom, but over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone, too. My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. 
No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have... Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the Upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. It ain't the best stuff. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? The plan from what? That's all. You got it. Hey there! <laughs> Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rakuls are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. I'm sorry, Hester. There's nothing we can do. It's too late for Hindar now. No! Hindar, no! A horrible fate for poor Hendar. I warned him not, but I couldn't open the gate. Not while, but enough of this grim talk. We must focus. I'll open the gate for you, Upworlder, but you've got to be quick. In a few seconds. 
I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rack ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I didn't mean to leave him. I thought he was right behind me. I'd never abandon Big Z on purpose. Please, help me get him back. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. my skin something growing like some kind of hideous disease no no I can feel it
Move. I'm I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Trying to pick a fight with a Mandalorian. I can see you're not too bright. But I'm on a mission for Davik, so I don't have time for fun and games. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rack ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Come on, boys, let's move out! Oh! <laughs> 
A life tag? You sure about that, Big D? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life tag? A life debt is the most solid. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. Hey, don't underestimate me. I may be young, but I'm quick and plenty smart. You just give me a chance and you'll be surprised at how useful I can be. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Vulcan base. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep... I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. You did a good job mopping up those Gamorreans, but I don't think you want to take on a Rancor. Those things are huge. Luckily, the Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there.
something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? <coughs> oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. <coughs> breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <coughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. <coughs> Huh. 
take this the wrong way, but lately, I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over. Don't worry, Big Z. I know, Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. Okay, okay, sheesh. Greetings once more, Upworlder. It is as I feared, then. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself. You are marked, Upworlder. Even I am old. I have lived a... I offer you wisdom, and you turn me away. Very well, Upworlder. You return, Upworlder. The great city of Taurus covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, 
Rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use and the poor were left to starve and die. But the poor rose up against this tyranny and civil war engulfed. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. Many brave men and women were banished here to the... What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more... Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life of... Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the... For many years, I searched for the promised land. I have collected many clues hinting at its... But I know my father and grandfather... E Could it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream... Hmm. Yes, you have done a great thing, Upworlder. True kill. What do you want now? You may not think these are... F what? No, it can't be. I, I swear to you, everything in these... The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have... I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gengar. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by night. Thank you, one. We must... to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the prop. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little...
No one's gonna see this mission.
Someone's gonna get hurt. Gonna get hurt. Someone's 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 gonna get hurt. Gonna get hurt. Someone's gonna get hurt. Someone's gonna get hurt.
No one's gonna see this mission. Thank <laughs> you. 
What? I'm here. Thank you. 